Good evening. Northeast Indiana is winning big thanks to some major money from the state. At least $42 million to be exact. News Channel 15's Sarah Wagner joins us live from downtown Fort Wayne with what the Regional Cities Initiative means for our area. Sarah. Leaders say this really comes down to two goals, growing the population and increasing wages. They think the best way to accomplish that is by implementing projects here in downtown Fort Wayne and across the 11 counties that make up Northeast Indiana. During the last decade, Indiana's population hasn't grown nearly as much as other states across the country. When you look at the economies that have led the nation in economic development and wage growth, uh, they have grown population at a rate of about 2.1 percent. We're growing population currently at about 0.7 percent. Leaders say cities in the south and the west are growing so rapidly because of their ability to attract and retain talent and companies. Now they think it's time for regions across Indiana to do the same. There was really tough competition for these resources is because uh, in northeast Indiana, like some other parts of the state, people have been actually thinking regionally and planning regionally for a while. Right now, there are around 780,000 people living in the region. Leaders want to increase that to one million. It's about coming up with a bold plan that allows us to grow our economy, to grow jobs. The Regional Cities Initiative gives $42 million to Northeast Indiana over the next two years. With the help of private investors, the region has to then match and grow that money. In the next two years, we'll need to start uh, $200 million plus worth of projects. Uh, so just think about that, what that means for a region. When you have $200 million worth of projects that improve your quality of place and improve your life and improve the amenities. The private sector will contribute the majority of the funds, between 60 to 80 percent, with the local and state governments providing up to 40 percent. Projects fall under four categories, connecting us to nature, community, culture, and ideas. Things like the river promenade, things like a downtown arena, things like downtown housing, but also things that in our neighborhoods. There are nearly 40 projects on the region's shortlist right now. Which ones ultimately will become a reality all depends on the private sector's support and the regional development authority's decisions. Reporting live from downtown Fort Wayne, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15. Today's announcement regarding the winners of the regional city's grants came with a bit of a surprise. That's because the governor actually awarded an extra grant. Originally, the program was only supposed to give out two separate $42 million grants. However, the tax amnesty period for Indiana businesses and individuals proved to be so successful, there was enough money to award a third grant. The other two regional city's grant winners were the South Bend area and Evansville.